might take the both of us to get the truth out of her. Whatever you're trying to do, the answer's no. One day I might actually take you up on it. You're protecting. After everything you've been through, are you sure you're up for it? We both know I should have been here all along. He's a mean bully, then I hate him. General Hospital latest update. Carly's growing doubts about Sonny's reassurance after being dragged into a dangerous alibi for a federal agent's murder. As Sonny urges Carly to stay calm, will his words be enough to keep her loyal, or will the pressure of their tangled lies push Carly to break? Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, I hope everyone is having a wonderful day, after watching these videos, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. General Hospital Will Sonny's reassurance be enough to keep Carly on his side this time? General Hospital spoilers reveal Sonny Corinthos, Maurice Bernard, has always been a force to be reckoned with. In the past, Carly Spencer, Laura Wright, may have respected her ex-husband a bit more than she does today. After all, the last few years have been a real doozy. Sonny came home from Nixon false a changed man that Carly really didn't recognize. He blew up the life she wanted with Jason Morgan, Steve Burton. He cheated and chose Nina Reeves, Cynthia Watt-Rose. Then, while it wasn't his fault that someone tampered with his bipolar medication, he went off the rails and hurt both her and her children for months on end. She's having a hard time bouncing back from that and we can't blame her. Now, she's wrapped up in being his only alibi at the time of a federal agent's murder. As she starts to worry that the truth will come out and they will both be held accountable, Sunny may try to tame her concerns. But, will it be enough? General Hospital Spoilers, Carly Spencer Spirals Carly didn't like this plan from the very start. When she walked in on Sunny getting dressed in Tracy Cordemain's, Jane Elliott, room, she didn't ask too many questions. She's been conditioned not to at this point, even when he tells her he needs her to lie and cover for his whereabouts. She certainly didn't expect to learn that FBI agent John Jaggard Cates, Adam Harrington, had just been killed at the Quartermain boathouse. To add insult to injury, when a room full of Quartermains assumed Sonny tucking in his shirt meant he and Carly had just been getting hot and heavy, she was begrudgingly forced to roll with that lie. Now, she can't get out of it without implicating herself and Sonny in a crime. General hospital spoilers, hint Sonny Corinthos's words fall flat. As Carly continues to grow more concerned that their lie about getting back together isn't going to pan out in any way that protects their daughter, Donna Corinthos, Scarlett Spears, from believing it's true, Sonny will do everything in his power to convince her it will all be okay. There's just one problem. He can't do that this time around. The reality is, these two will have to take things further than just a few public appearances over uncomfortable champagne dinners for the authorities to take them seriously. That means they'll have to lie to Donna, and Carly isn't okay, with that. General Hospital Spoilers, Enter, Jack Brennan The last time Carly's life was on trial, ironically, because of Kate's vendetta against Sonny, she nearly got tossed in prison it was WSB agent Jack Brennan, Charles Measure, who spared her that fate by deleting the evidence file from the FBI's database. Carly still doesn't know the truth about how that worked out, but when it comes to light, she may once again think she can rely on Jack to help her out. Can he make all of this go away for her and Sonny without her having to entertain a fake relationship with her ex? Wouldn't that serve him anyway if he's trying to cozy up to Carly, or is Jason right and is there more to Jack's agenda than getting closer to Carly? Today's next update, Lucky's back to save Lulu, but will his liver be good enough? Plus, Sonny's going to do what? It was a much shorter week of General Hospital due to some interruptions for baseball. It also felt like not a lot happened this week, so here is hoping next week brings some more drama. From the preview at the end of Friday's show, it looks like we'll know whether Lucky will be able to donate his liver on Monday. Match Game Lucky's finally back in Port Charles, and he is a match for Lulu. As he's going through final tests to make sure everything is good before the transplant, Laura is still nowhere to be found. Ridiculous. Fortunately, we won't be without Laura much longer as she is set to return next week. I was beginning to think Lulu would wake up before she got back to town. I can't wait to hear what kept them. Did Kevin lose his passport? We still haven't learned Lucky's final results, nor are we sure if he'll be able to donate his liver to save Lulu. As I said, that will come on Monday. I'm still thinking that his liver won't pass the test, and thus, Charlotte will be needed to save Lulu's life.
It's the only thing that makes sense and why Valentine would dare return to Port Charles at this point. Elizabeth and Lucky's scenes were fantastic, especially her refusal to tell Lucky about their son, as she feels it is up to Aiden to share his story with his estranged father. I'm looking forward to Liz hopefully getting a happier storyline again with Lucky back, not one filled with doom and gloom. Lucky has a lot to make up for. We also got a new Aiden this week, now played by Colin Cassidy. While Cassidy looks more like Lucky than the previous two actors, he also feels a bit old to play Elizabeth's youngest child. He definitely isn't giving me Baker vibes. Frankly, he feels a little too cool to be playing Aiden. I really hope they aren't going to up and totally rewrite his character. Hippocratic Oath Miss High and Mighty Portia sure got snippy with Brad about his being back at work at the hospital, given his history of not being so ethical. She should talk. Of course, we soon discovered she was worried that he might figure out she switched Heather's test results. Things got worse for the doctor when Ava opened her mouth to Rick after he found out only General Hospital's test results on Heather's cobalt levels were off, that someone at the hospital switched them. Her adding, it wouldn't be the first time, was hilarious and so true. Ava quickly gave Portia a heads up on Rick, though not that she was the one who had given him the idea about her, and offered to help her. While I am no fan of Portia, I do appreciate her and Ava's friendship and desire to protect Trina. Still, I want to see Portia get caught and go down for this, though it's now really looking like Ava and Portia might pin this on Brad if it comes to it. Speaking of doctors, Lucas is back and is now being played by Van Hansis. I never watched him on One Life to Live, so I look forward to him as Lucas. So far, I'm impressed. He's made it clear he wants nothing to do with Brad, so who might be his next love interest? Unless the show brings back Felix, it looks like they might need to find a new character. Given we are stuck with Natalia, perhaps her estranged son could show up and date Lucas. Natalia would love that, not. Other storyline ponderings. Yes, there is a history between Ava and Rick and some bad blood, but damn if they aren't magical together. Could they be destined to go beyond a lawyer-client relationship? I wouldn't be opposed. I love that Carly knows Jason is keeping something about his trip with Anna from her and that it's annoying her. Keep that secret, Jason. Anna doesn't seem keen on kissing and telling either. I'm guessing there could be fireworks between them on New Year's Eve this year. Isaiah was the best thing to come from that awful African misadventure storyline with Lucky and Sidwell. On Friday's episode, he told Lucky that he'd never perform surgery again. There is a story there. So Sam is finally playing nice with Jason and apologizing to him up and down for how she's treated him since his return. Really? Just in time for her to die? Poor little Violet is getting bullied at school. How could anyone be mean to her? As much as I love Violet, this feels like an Aiden and Charlotte redo. I would like to see a better story, hell, any story, for Brooke, Lynn, and Chase. Maybe, though, this one will surprise me. I was surprised they didn't go anywhere with last week's cliffhanger of Ned learning about Willow and Drew's kiss. Then again, we only had three episodes this week, so why waste one on those two? Finally, last week I fumed that all of Sonny's accomplices were letting Alexis roast for his crime. So I was very glad to see Carly step up and tell Sonny they had to help Alexis. What I didn't expect was for Sonny to say he'd turn himself to clear Alexis if it came to it. What? Now this I want to see. Though a few weeks ago I speculated he might do that to save Christina, and joked it would probably be the one time nobody believed he was guilty. Thanks for watching this videos, please hit the subscribe button for more updated news.